seriously too. I bet I didn't fucking save it properly. Literally press a button on a computer. That was definitely a mistake. I will open up... Oh yeah, I'm opening up the engine, but I intended to open the map. Press a fucking button on a computer, huh? I don't even know what, what's up, to be honest. Yeah, I, <laughs> I have this, and this should be cancelled now, actually. Do I have uh, X-Factor? No. No X-Factor either. Oh. No, 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 but... I'm talking about read X-Factor, and there is no read. Awesome! Let's start all over again actually oh thanks for the update literally one button to shut off your computer it's gonna destroy your fucking progress ah, and shove it in my fucking face and this is what we we had to work with and it's it's gone it's now a video that doesn't even have a length in some ways it doesn't have a length, so I can't actually manipulate of how I want to watch it. It's pretty fascinating, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't have a length. Of course, I can recompile everything and uh, do a bunch of other boring shit. But the cool part is that every single time I do things better... Yes, with a little bit of frustration at the start, but you can't dodge that. Also, I need my uh, handy dandy auto draw. Huh. Wow. <clears throat> the best thing ever. Definitely, there's better programs than this. Finding this shit is so uh, tedious right now. I think that sort of stuff also has to be sorted out. Like, the five-star system is so fucking important. I even mentioned in the end of the video, five-star has to be brought back. Where was it? Wow, in the end of the... What the fuck? Not even close. Uh, yeah, bring back the five-star system so we know what to watch. What are the good channels out there? You know, whatever I'm trying to do with the YouTube map, it can be replaced with whatever YouTube tries to do. That's a good feature. So, in a way. Oops, let's start all over. Again, yeah, two hours, lost forever, but uh, I, I should be ready for this, it's just a normal occurrence of what happens. I've been cancelling a bunch of people, basically, that's what happened. I've been clearing them off uh, the system, and what I'm gonna do right now is just um, link X Factor and clear clear them at the same time so and gonna roast them as well in this video and tell exactly why the they couldn't have been cleared because I've been clearing all of them right now and I'm not gonna attack people who just reached 500 uh, they're not as intimidating and old technically they didn't have enough chance to prove their worth and establish of how I watch their videos or whatever, so. The first one, the highest one, is actually Leah, because Leah has a bunch of points. I have to still double check if that's the case. All right, 350, well, one second. Because there's also Leah, which is supposedly the same person. So 
so we have to transfer the wealth that is a huge score and it's the highest score on the board technically um, so it's kind of an inevitable loss I think it's still something I can bring back to life but it's it's a person that I have to bring back to life all the time in that case so uh, let's link 100% and X Mimi. It's a new function that allows me to remove someone from the top list, basically. This is how it works. If I X myself, I transfer all the wealth except the link wealth into the xg type of name and I can x the xg basically reversing the process and bring it all back to me simple right so basically this is what would what it would mean to cancel someone is to just completely negate their existence on uh, the relevant list of some kind so uh, that's a new tool that I have uh, let's apply this to all of the names listed and slowly explain. So Nicki Minaj, the only black person on this list. Uh, I know Swoozy is about to come here, but pretty much the only. I am homophobe and racist, by the way, it turns out. But that's kind of kind of you have to deal with it okay just gotta deal with it because uh, what I actually am is I'm not uh, I'm not a politicalist I'm circumstantialist okay whatever happens goes and there ain't no injections of lethal dosage of bullshit I don't care about that okay whatever happens it goes if I like a black person I like a black person if I don't I don't this time, I gotta do a gotta do a racist move, and uh, it's too big of a butt, and it's it just doesn't fit. Okay, well the the reality in Nicki Minaj like just doesn't fit with the rapping career. Rapping career is not style. It's nothing. It's totally useless. Also, I checked these guys out today. And I can tell all about it. Uh, AVGN and Nicky Limo are struggling with their formats. I'm not gonna lie. And Chrissy Constanza just got herself in a different kind of struggle. Where I actually updated the way that I listen to music. I can use a calculator and listen to music at the same time. Wow but on my tablet, so it's a different thing. I still have to figure out, you know, which floating app, YouTube float app is the best, which minimizer app is the best. And it's not the one that you would think is the best, which would be the floating app. It's actually not good enough for me, but who knows? <laughs> you never know. Um, the one problem with the YouTube flo floating app is that, uh, the generic one is that when there's a playlist I can actually access a playlist that easily as I would love to like I don't understand I cannot share my uh, the playlist into the app when you're making an app oh boy you can't be an amateur about it there's a lot that goes into it and uh, if I was making this YouTube map into an app, holy shit, holy shit, the amount of work that I would, I would have to crank myself up fucking five times if I ever get like a chance to collaborate with someone or observe applications or other shit. Like I have to fill my life with a lot of bullshit activities, but um, in order to remain professional and do a good product it doesn't matter whether it sells or not it's just the craziest thing which we're going to discuss 
Alright, so Leah gets cancelled, Tana gets cancelled. Uh, and the X Factor is gonna work as a sort of a, a ground, like a bubble that's building up steam. And uh, it's gonna show whether it's imported or not for me to take care of it. I will constantly have to poke X Factors, like, is it 500 yet? Or some kind of number that I can, you know, um, relate to as big enough to worry about. So these guys will no longer be able to feed their own profiles. They have to feed the X Factor for profile because they their profiles go back to zero. So they technically disappear completely from the ward. This cancellation process is quite complicated but the X factor is still something that they're linked to, right? So you have to be linked to something in order to be visible. It's a very simple uh, feature, let's put it that way. So yeah, I canceled Tana. I felt like it's so difficult to squeeze content out of her. It's there, but it's hard because it's inconsistent. You don't know what you're getting and she just changed her format the moment she came back to YouTube, it's like, I'm gonna rip off da David Dobrik or whatever. Like, I don't know what that means. I just uh, see someone try something new and maybe it's it's gonna become consistent, but now it's too late because I'm, I'm in a hurry here and I checked all the profiles, whether I care about them or not. Uh, Gabby Hanna is just, inevitable loss most of the women on the list are overrated especially Leah especially Nicki Minaj just maybe even some leftover women are overrated but I'm just saying if you can't get checked out it's fine uh, one problem from the past was uh, that uh, yeah I, I would just overrate women that's what would happen. I would overrate most people in general uh, from the previous list where all the points are uh, skimmed from. Because I, I didn't want to lose all the points that are out here. But uh, technically, it's too much. The system changed a lot of times now. Evolve through evolution, yep. So, um... But uh, even now, you know, like, singers will get much better deals all of a sudden. Yeah, Marcia is it's not going to come back to life. There's no, there's no bullying at this point. Because if I try to bring someone back to life, it's, it's almost like bullying. I don't like that she deleted all her YouTube videos because now that she's leaving YouTube is like a, an ultimate break to catch up on everything. Like, why not? <laughs> but uh, all of a sudden, yeah, de delete and lose everything. Cool, I guess. We're gonna cancel Dave Days. He's also a dead channel. Most of the time it's just a dead channel, but Poppy's not necessarily a dead channel. It just doesn't provide me with what I want, which is music. It's like, it's pretty simple. Onision was very close, but I checked on him twice, and he collected five points in total, five and a half points. You need four to, to get checked. You need five to get checked in total. So I check, I search him, his name, and he has five in total, which is good enough for me. Um... Some people I just ignore, like Indiana. I just finished watching H2O Season 3, which is the last season, unfortunately. And the show was quite okay. But um, now that it's over, it's probably even going to compromise uh, Ricky as well, which is Kariba. But who calls her by this name anymore? It's so stupid name. Um, let's 
let's uh, put Ligman here as well. Now, Ninja is not a good deal ever. It will never be a good deal. So I just gave up. I'm not going to check him out. I'm not going to watch his videos. It's just super duper lame. People like Fortnite for no good reason. I still can't find the reason besides it's a multiplayer game. That's, you know, it's a decent now. It's a decent one. And then Jimmy Fallon, somewhat clearable, but I don't know what I would do in the future, right? He's just kind of a pawn in the game of celebrities, okay? So he, celebrities kind of bump into him and he exists, but Late Night Show is now Corona Time Show, so it's just also an overkill on his uh, career, I would say. And so we put this function in here, a bunch of people get cancelled, and uh, enter the X Factor. Which now X Factor reads, still, a big fat one, because everyone got cancelled in here. So everyone's starting fresh and building this thing exactly. Once the X Factor hits 500, I clear it up. I clear up the the biggest contesters because I still know their values pretty much. So whoever contributes the most, like top five, I clear them out. Get the fuck out of this shithole, and uh, we continue Reign of Terror with full points. They come back with full points. They can come back swinging, as as the saying goes. So. That's pretty sweet. It's almost it doesn't feel like a three hour video is necessary here. But uh, you know me. <laughs> you know me. I have to put in extra effort just to squeeze in those hours of work. And uh, make sure that it's productive too. Make sure that my brain is focusing on the right things all the time. And now that I've, you know, done most of the work, there's not much to talk about. It just that's how most people present their videos. They do most of the work and you get uh, not much of a meat, actually. Shane was, uh, the Shane crew basically is skimmed out of the three girls, which is Kimmy, uh, Courtney Miller and Olivia. That's, that's Mosh, basically, team. But Shane is specifically anyone else Mostly Shane, top, which is like the newer generation and the older generation of Smosh is obviously Anthony and Ian, which have their own level of humor now, developed. They're almost like a separate entity, and they got checked, but Shane didn't got checked. I'm a little bit pissed about that, but there's nothing I can do because their videos just kind of, you know, they kind of automatically get checked, first of all, if, if most people from Smosh get checked. It's like, you know, it's a hanging fruit, I don't know. I can't just cancel half of the smosh and pretend that I like the other half. You know, that's that's kind of the point here. So there's some weird exceptions, I think. And then there is a section where I don't want to touch it because it's too fresh. Or it's just, I don't know, it's fresh. It's, that's all I'm going to say. Because if you blow 600, you probably never had a chance to do anything, <laughs> to be honest. Also, I added a few functions. Uh, that allow me to read the top tube and top graduates. So, uh, that simply means... And I'm, I'm saving this up. That. Okay, so top two is just the top tier list, but with the exclusions of the X people. So now we only have 54. Originally, we had 63, and nine of them got cancelled. So, whoops. <laughs> um, yeah, even, even Grail Mark and Jack mark herself it's it's a pretty tough thing 
to do for her but uh, it does require some luck I do understand that because I almost you know bumped into like AVGN and uh, Nick Limo getting in trouble that's a big deal get in trouble man what's going on here but I I, I am sensing that you know if if I'm if I'm getting in trouble with some people I cannot check them out properly I'm not in uh, I'm not interested. That's that's a really bad start. I don't just three strike people. I strike them, okay, properly, and uh, and they will feel it, man. Because three strike th three strike system is just a way to prolong uh, punishment, I would say. But then the punishment becomes infinitely larger than it's supposed to be. You're kicked out of the platform. It's the stupidest thing ever, but people do it. Okay, so just as a reminder, we have to start all over again. Three strike system is prolonged punishment. That's way too big. Sure, YouTube is trying to sneak in some punishments to push you down the hill, but then it's like, yeah, dude, you should go the opposite way, YouTube. The opposite should be true. When someone gets cancelled, they become more popular, for example. I'm just saying, if they're getting cancelled, I mean, that's a good career. Onision was able to dodge the bullet of not being picked for YouTube map in the first place unless but he got cancelled so he was in the middle of the fucking spotlight and he fucking nails it because I like his content it's fine he's trying to explain something is not always entertaining and he's not using the perfect fucking system like nobody is using right now and I'll be starting to complain about this shit it's like you you making your points get a bullet point list of some kind just just give me the points so i understand what what do you stand for even if it's just you know from the top of your head just like i'm doing right now you kind of fucking need it yeah the like system scares me because it's boring i mean these points just stand on, the, on themselves i kind of hate that as well so yeah, like system is not your five star system that you can tag on the channel. And I think channels have to split up themselves into categories of what they're trying to create, what kind of shows they're trying to make. So that's important. And once the multi channel is over, it's over. It's its own playlist, and uh, you just leave it behind. And it's a lot easier to access, I would say, because it has a name and everything. And it's a uh, higher priority than just, oh, a playlist that has this many videos and a name. And I don't actually see all the, you know, thumbnails. You have to first open it up. And the YouTubers have little incentive to make sure that the playlists are actually super well made. And, and the viewers don't quite know that playlists are so fucking important. When it comes to finding videos or whatever, like all these things have to be improved many times over, including the like system, which is terrible. Okay, because yeah, you can press a button if you like a video, but the reality is you would only do that if you need to like save it for yourself or whatever. I actually do it. You know, whatever videos I liked, it's gonna be YouTube Rewind, uh, con uh, well, resource for YouTube Rewind. It's just, I could have said content though. Uh, so, um, it really scares me that it's just not entertaining and you have to like every video you like and you have to f remind yourself that and everyone's obsessed about it. And it's just so stupid. Okay. 
don't get obsessed with something bad. <laughs> what the fuck? You just question things. Be reasonable. But I'm just reminding that people are not reasonable. They're fucking annoying. So we put these people to rest. They're resting. We can come back anytime and kick my ass. It's a lot harder to do, however. If they... Let's put it this way. If they get 10 points, which girls can do very easily, I would say. You get 10 points, you're definitely out. Definitely out of here. Uh, and I will notice that very quickly. Like, oh, you're in. You have different kind of uh, um, self... Uh, I don't know. A way to show off than I thought I needed so basically I get surprised but that's not gonna happen very easily now I think you know just like most most of YouTube is a scam and most of YouTube which you have to understand and I'm gonna say this point and before I make a point like this I have to put a point here down I have to learn how to make points fast because that is uh, that is the point of the video too alright so uh, YouTube is full it's not quick to hire anymore it's actually quick to cancel people just like you could say my YouTube map is full but it's full of shit and you know YouTube is also full of shit too but uh, whoever gets hired, they feel uplifted. They feel like, wow, we can just do this job and whatever. We can just do this for a living. You know, that's a big deal. Whatever inspires you to wake up, that's a big deal. And, uh, but you still have to nail the formula, obviously. You still have to secure yourself uh, enough skills so it doesn't happen to you like Shane. Where you get cancelled. And uh, you kind of leave the platform, but Shane can always come back. He has enough skills to just do a documentary and be like, bam, bam, slam in everyone's faces. So uh, Shane Dawson, by the way. So yeah, it's super, super simple once you have skills to enter and leave this thing. But funny thing would happen if I as a YouTube CEO enter. But you have to understand what, what would happen if a normal person enters now, which is a lot harder. You know, there's almost like a protective fucking ceiling here. So nobody gets out or nobody gets in. The protective ceiling is almost like it pays you to stay on YouTube and all that shit. So potentially YouTube can just explode and something like TikTok can take over. Uh, but I don't think exactly TikTok is going to take over. Obviously, there has to be an app that's next generation, basically. I think YouTube is now getting old, and in 20 years, potentially, uh, it's gone. The first five years, it it established itself, and then 15 years of fucking uh, doing stuff f on full full-blown force. And it constantly has to mix up the content and all that shit and add more stars and all that shit. But yeah, because it's the most relevant thing, movies are not relevant to me. I can barely watch Keanu Reeves when he has to be checked. But that's why I just, you know, gave him a star. I'm like, yeah, I can't get rid of movie stars. They're stars. They're different. They're old school. And uh, you have to be ready to watch an entire movie. And you know it's gonna work in the end. You know it's gonna tell a story. You know it's gonna be a rant video that I fucking needed to see and to relate to. And it's easy. I just watched like one week ago Pitch Perfect 3. And you know, watching a movie is such a fucking different thing. People are acting out as best as they can. And uh, that sort of whirlwind of act acts just kind of create a. 
a gaming experience almost an immersive gaming experience it's it's a whole nother deal uh, but movies are dead now okay the t television is dead pretty much replaced by YouTube and it's gonna happen again YouTube is gonna re be replaced with something I bet you that although yeah it's technically television was like 50 years or something but I wouldn't fucking say that I wouldn't even say that television was the first thing next to YouTube I would say that consoles and movie consoles was the next thing okay the CD was the next thing to YouTube not television and the previous could have been television for sure uh, but uh, I wouldn't know that I can only just guess all right so when a person enters a YouTube you know section if you have been close to that person you probably have a chance to become somewhat a youtuber yourself so you have to capture those chances to collaborate with people and not necessarily hope that YouTube is gonna spill out what or just grab you somehow and start hiring people it's full it's always gonna be full like that and the best you can do is kind of observe I think and uh, make sure that you utilize YouTube and not necessarily try and inject it into your life as some kind of necessity that you have to become something so that's a dangerous thing now as a YouTube CEO I'm I'm performing a completely different function I'm outside I'm an outsider I'm stepping in and I will have to give up my role eventually if I do hop in I actually no longer become a YouTube CEO when I become a full part of YouTube full-time worker then I can define myself as a YouTuber actually potentially I can make YouTube videos and they're gonna be interesting to all YouTubers or and people who are concerned about YouTubers it's just very simple when I'm inside I'm different I can't call myself YouTube CEO I call myself YouTube CEO because I have a crazy amount of self-esteem that nobody cares about because well that's that's the way of life I don't know nobody cares about anything so it doesn't matter what I say it's matter what I show but in order to show somehow you have to stick yourself up here and pretend to be a youtuber as well it's just a hard job to do and then uh, smaller people perceive you as like insider but you still you know without having credibility without it being that insider you're gonna be perceived as a low tier youtuber that's not worth watching which is like so fucking weird it happens all the time there's always this ugliness um, dumpster basically you're trying to draw something cute and it becomes ugly immediately at some point right well wrong uh, effort always matters and there are no uh, bumps in the road it's just what happens when you start burning out you make wrong decisions and you go deeper into this fucking darkness and uh, if if you follow other people's paths you are most likely gonna follow people who fell in because they're the most vocal as well so there there are holes that you can fall into but it's just because you haven't put enough effort and became authentic that is a point we need to know there are trap holes you can fall into if you followed it if you didn't remain authentic and authentic means a lot from my perspective you know like I'm doing this thing I built it I know how it works if I just give it to someone else they will be only 50% as successful they might have a bunch of questions of what to do and potentially if I ask 
I, I answer all these questions, maybe they get satisfied, but maybe they don't. So I have to put a strict limit of how many questions I can be asked. Almost like a fucking genie, genie in a lamp. Okay, it's a very, very uh, terrifying process of seeing someone get obsessed with your stuff because they know it so well, they think it's gonna work out just the same way. Uh, and also like when youtubers make their videos claiming that they know how to become a youtuber that's never gonna happen it's just full now that you're in here you see a completely different world as a youtuber but giving the advice the hopes and dreams rising them up there's no reason the, the one reason you have to just shine like a fucking star like shine bright like a fucking diamond eh? But uh, yeah, this diamond is for Minecraft right there. As always, Minecraft needs a diamond. It looks all horrible. Maybe this is better. So yeah, but once I reach as a YouTube CEO and I crash into this, because I have such a big ego, I, I would just destroy the entire ecosystem. I would just even just dump myself, like dunk and like even some stars would come out because they're so fucking scared of like what is happening who is this person how is this guy not getting cancelled how does this guy know so much and all that shit how does this i have so much influence and the reality is uh what my intention should be all along and is is to expand the landscape of youtube to a different level entirely so it holds more people all right it's just very simple and more people can join in and uh a new youtube ceo hopefully is born a new avatar basically <laughs> yeah boys actually that oh man i'm like uh youtube avatar and hopefully logan paul was too because he claims to be an avatar no more obviously he's a successful youtuber but uh, if he looks at me in a funny way maybe the world's fucking collide it's just that one thing you can never predict you throw a bunch of videos into youtube throw a bunch of names maybe and it sticks maybe i should try and do that you know just <laughs> add names in the brackets and i'm like Logan Paul, yeah, but this video has nothing to do with Logan Paul, but potentially that's kind of what I have to do, actually. I'm gonna do that uh, letter move, boys, love letter, I think, yeah. Hmm, this is why, boys, maybe he was the avatar, maybe we didn't fucking see it properly. Alright, after all... He helped, I think, Leah get a movie role. Who knows, right? Who knows how Thinning was created? But Leah was in it, and it was a movie, and it gave her a lot of credit, and now she's gone again. <laughs> Whoops, cancelled. <laughs> Almost like the Thinning is, is also... Wow, isn't Thinning like a movie about... Canceling dumb people. <laughs> if you don't, I think this is like a, the secret fear of every YouTuber ever is just uh, you're not fit for YouTube anymore. The algorithm is gonna fucking destroy you, and you're technically dead because that that was your career, and hopefully you have uh, enough money saved up to survive what's gonna happen next but it's it's not that bad obviously there's always enough income to fucking stay afloat when you get dunked dunked into the waters it's just uh the life completely changes i think i don't know i don't want to speculate because i want those fucking stars get the fuck out of here <laughs> so this this shield is a, a little easier to break Every single time I'll try and smash it. Every single year I'll try and smash it. Every single YouTube Rewind I'll try and smash this ceiling and 
see what happens. See how strong it truly is, because that's also something that has to be measured. All right. Every year, I will try and break YouTube Shield. See how strong it is. What does it take to become a YouTuber? Because I, I don't know, man. That shit is scary. I know to become a singer, it's super easy to become... <laughs> A programmer and make the next Minecraft super easy. Nobody cares about that. But man, breaking YouTube Shield. Holy shit. Without scams, obviously. Because scams will always break a lot of things. A lot of things that reality has to offer. And uh, they probably don't even go from here. They, they pretend. They become pretentious little motherfuckers that stick around all around like advertisements or something and uh, they just make YouTube look dirty and shit but uh, that's another part of my job is to un uh, to clean YouTube that's that's it I almost said unclean but yeah it's important to make yeah so when I bump into bump into Onision I uh, I bump into another because I, I was looking for like who hates Anisian right now who's the recent hater right now and uh, I got a reminder some people just play a game in the background and do their commenting on top as if like if if you really want to watch a YouTube video here's something to watch I mean it's so much entertaining when someone plays a game but you know it has nothing to do with anything so if if your video is not reinforcing your ability to comment on things, I think you're doing a pretty bad job and you don't actually deserve to be around here. So, um, let's just put it this way. Leafy type of content should never peak on YouTube ever again, okay? It's still doable if you're desperate. You know, to make a comment video. That's not a rent video, though, because a lot of people who try to make comments, uh, they just regurgitate facts, right? Oh, I have collected all these facts and I regurgitate, but they don't actually. Uh, while they're fighting against Anisian, they. What are you doing? What's the point of all this, honestly? What the fuck is the point? The point is to just, you know, treat Anisian as like a. Pornhub section. I don't know. Just to make fun of someone. But, uh, uh... That's where you deliberately go halfway and don't actually care about the, the person. You're just trying to make a, make a joke out of him. Because it is a joke. So you have to know what, what, what the joke is about. You're just kind of hopping in with the crew and joking about some dude. Pointing a finger and laughing. It's just like... It's it's kindergarten level. It's not really... That impressive. And yes, some weird shit is gonna happen. Some weird relationships are gonna happen. And we shouldn't cry about it too fucking much. Okay? Weird relationships will happen. Stop crying about it. Okay. The, the most important part is to put a person under pressure and see what they do. And I think Onision is fine in that sense. And it's not like it's repeating again, over and over again. We, we, uh, the community put him under pressure and uh, he's not gonna do the same shit anymore. So why are you hurting a person that's already hurt? <laughs> you know, like, there's no point. Now he's just becoming stronger, actually. And I'm glad. I'm fucking glad he's, he's doing a similar type of content that I kind of like, but he's probably going to dodge that because uh, he doesn't know how exactly to do it. Uh, dodge it as a career choice because uh, that's, that's an interesting little thing, I would say. You can turn anything into a career. You just have to put in the fucking effort and ensure that it's your passion too. Ensure. That, that part of insurance, like... I will still graduate or whatever. 
please ensure that what you're working on is with passion uh, for a long time. So you decide to settle down on something, you need passion for it as well. Otherwise, it just dies more than it gets built upon. So it's just, you know, let's say so, someone attacks me for what am I doing. And uh, I can't really explain it with passion. They're going to sense that and they're going to run away and say that it's not important. You know, and at the same time, it will hurt me. Just the whole thing, it's like it turns into a house of cards and just... Uh, hurts people more than it builds it up. Passion just ensures that, like, I, I kind of know what I'm doing. I'm kind of enjoying this. And that's the most important part uh, to ensure that I'm not doing boring shit. It's what allows me to make three hour videos in this, you know, this ensures that uh, three hour video because I am not bored making them, which is a huge requirement for a rent video now. And I would say like make a rent video. Let's see if you make it three hours and let's see how good those three hours are because I need to know. So for me now, a very good way to verify if, if you're a real person. And honestly, if you make a three hour rent video, you're automatically verified in my book. You don't even need to fucking pay me or anything, but uh, yeah, that's how much people would have to pay me to be on this list. This is getting pretty intense, I would say. Sure, right now if you pay me $600, I would put you on the top of the list, give you 6,000 points. Who cares? I'm struggling. I, You can do whatever you want in my life. And uh, obviously if you just give me $20, I'm like... That's more of a nuisance than just uh, actually helpful, but I'll take it, I'll put you on 200, and you will still not appear anywhere, because again, you're just a nuisance. You're doing it the wrong way. Just collect enough punch and, and go full force, you know? One punch man is a beast, because he knows how to fucking spend money uh, in bigger quantities than you would normally expect it's just simple money and power whatever it's been a long time since i hit an x rank with my points what oh yeah i mean i'm still slow i'm still slow making points that is just inevitable we're gonna hit first hour which i'm i'm glad and we're gonna slowly cruise through the things that I put together already. Yeah, this sort of story is kind of cool. And again, I hop in, I expand the entire landscape. YouTube might even survive through what I expect to die in five years. It might survive longer than that. But uh, being an insider now and uh, learning how to expand this landscape, like that's that's a huge amount of work and someone else also has to wait their turn when I uh, lo start fatiguing basically myself and they have to hop in as well and just break the shield again it's all about you know like the, the shield is always a good indication of when a platform is ready for a change I would say it's kind of even worth noting YouTube shield Come on, naturally declares when a platform is uh, ready for a change. Yeah, the coolest thing about politics is it's all pretty much nature. Uh, when I explore the idea that you hit politics, what you're actually hitting is something that people call politics. In reality, this is actually spiritual stuff. I think. 
and that's what you can hold on. Once you define it prop in a proper name, you can actually hold on here and not just bounce back based on the force of how straight you were, basically. Because politics asks you, you're not supposed to have a straight point of view. You're supposed to take care of other people or whatever. It just asks you some very moral things, I would say. And that's why even voting feels good, but it's not. Uh, that's That was last video. But most importantly, it has a completely different name than politics, because we all know it sucks. But the spirituality does not. I don't, I don't know at any instance where it does suck. Uh, and this is not a political debate whether God exists or something. Which is a political debate. It's like, it's what do you believe in? It's a political debate. But there is no belief in reality. Reality is something you have to accept and live by. By its rules. Because uh, they make sense all the time. <laughs> they are reasonable. Everything comes through reason. Uh, you want it or not. Even when you don't have a reason, you have a reason why you don't have a reason. Because not having a reason is also as hard or hard enough, so it will be reasonable, <laughs> which is a nice little point. Even not having a reason requires a reason. Everything is reasonable. Okay. And reasonable means you can search for reason everywhere. It doesn't even matter. <laughs> almost where you uh, search. I mean, at some point, it does become tedious. It does become voodoo science sort of situation. Well, if everything is reasonable, all action is gonna give a reaction. Well, yeah, sure, whatever. Like, Don't come up with some bullshit things, okay? Because that's that's the mistake that you can start making. Like, if everything is reasonable, read the reason. What's wrong with you? And be reasonable too, and learn. But that, uh, you know, you can't, you can't go straight, because you must already know what's gonna happen. Or you just wanna hurt your head by bumping into politics. And, you know, all these old fucking rusty people gonna look at you funny and like, what are you trying to do, buddy? Uh, they will they will find a reason to look at you. They'll find a reason to pull you to court or whatever. To incriminate you, all that shit. You're not paying enough taxes or shit. Like, whatever. And uh, you're going to have to stare at them and be defeated most of the time. Or if you already predict... What you have to do, you know, bend yourself. Oh, I'm a leftist, so I'm a bend. I'm easily bendable, of course. But then someone else picks you up and just smashes into politics anyways. Don't let other people decide what you're supposed to do, either. Uh, so that's, that's left and right, basically. The right thing to do is just do it fast. What happens, happens, you know. <laughs> yeah, that sort of stuff. You hop into politics, dig as deep as possible, take those red pills and all that shit, women are fucking garbage anyway, so you leave them hanging, you know, that sort of shit, holy fuck, so, uh, left and right are just different ways to hit politics, okay, what leftists did, they actually went even faster than the right, because they were always hitchhiking who's the fastest person. And they finally hit it in the very end, where like, all hope is lost, and they're sort of falling down. And when, you, when you're falling down in this section, which is a good section, and this is a perfect section, a good section, a good person is like, well, stop falling down, we just, we just do whatever you always wanted to do, and fuck it. It brings back all your past. It all starts shining like a fucking avatar arrow. And poof. You all almost like reset your life. And poof. So that's a leftist way of doing it. And a right 
rightest way of doing it is like, well, uh, I'm gonna do the best thing I can, and I will actually trigger my own fucking shit. Poof. It's pretty much the same thing. They, they stick around here, I think, and accumulate enough power. You know, just like I would do it. I would do it this way. It's it's a way of like feelings versus thoughts, and it's definitely how I would do it. Is there like four ways of doing it? Okay, let's try. So potentially, you can every single time you meet somewhat a more realistic form of world but it's now is this is a thought world it's the section d and this is a section c so this is a school world and this is uh your your personal domain so this could be for a fire person like a, a business opportunity immediately and they're slowly growing i don't know where they're growing into and this is the section A where you'll finish your growth. And then this section is what slingshots you all the way to politics, potentially. Again, when you're in this territory, whatever you want pretty much happens. But bumping into like the hard the hardcore section, that's that's a little scary. So we, we have the sections, right? Okay, whatever. I'm, I, okay, so what is the the fourth way of doing it? I would say it's the old school, basically. You become the old god of the school. Right, the school's little fucking creeper madness. The monster fucking accumulates here. Because it cannot break through. Because it's earth and uh, you are a wind creature, basically. So you can't quite break through, quite quite get into the thought realm of thoughts because it destroys you, but you do it anyways, you know, or you at least break through, whatever happens, happens, you get enough eyeballs in here or something to observe with what this is, and that's still thought process, and again, you can still shoot up, <laughs> it almost like equivalates everything, and this is what establishes your personality. But this is what establishes your intention and still reads back at whatever you did in the past all the time. How much effort you put in. Because <coughs> this is the ace land. The ice land. Fucking hell, man. No, it's the ace land. So, yeah. If you want to hit politics will happen or you're just being mean being mean means you're very straight and you don't actually think about alternative uh, points of view basically so you're gonna hit politics eventually because your friends are gonna be like no no actually it's this way and if you disagree with them and you're gonna become a mean little person well good luck with that because you're gonna hit politics very fast whether you want it or not that's a different kind of story as well so there's there's that story there's that little map brewing that's kind of interesting let's see what else do we have yeah we're progressing in technology but uh, a country how about building a new language or something I'm already preparing like lit English to be something that could be done. Who knows what's gonna happen like in two years when I when I declared what I'm gonna do is the shadow market research. Uh, which is like, what is possible on a cheap scale? Since my wings have not triggered another person to say, uh, to look at me and admire my effort of the way that I survive life. Uh, nobody's pointing a finger at that. Because everyone accepts, now accepts the ideology of like you have to have a job, you have to be on your own, completely separated from everyone else, which is 
You know, that's... You know, capitalism has its own perks, but it, I don't give a fuck about capitalism. My life is completely different, and it's, uh, it's kind of shattered and in the darkness right now. It's not necessarily successful. I'm just almost like a successful homeless person. Is that success? Like, it's impossible to claim success. The only time I can claim success is if I fucking die. So while I'm dying, I probably can claim success too. Because I don't give a fuck about capitalism so badly. It gives a fuck about me, all of a sudden. And it monetizes my shit. Because it always has this engine where it can recycle dying material. So it will, will care about me, obviously. If I have, like... Uh, um, a lot of wealth accumulator or something, well, I can spend that wealth, so I'm not going to be dying. But if I am dying, people are going to be interested in that all of a sudden. And they might even want to be a part of my life for no good reason. And I'll have to manage that. Something good comes out at some point. You just have to survive long enough. I just don't understand. There, there is no big concern, like, why should a country be born? But there is a concern, because I want all the gamer girls to be in one fucking place. I want like-minded people to be in one place. People who grew up with the internet are different people now. They need a, their own fucking country now. Not some American dream anymore. It's just, it's no longer relevant to me, I would say. Yeah, I think I have to accept the consequence that I, I will be slow now. Go, coming from, well... The first time I put a crown down, I guess. I don't know. I'm just gonna be slow now. Even when I started locking things up and preparing things, it actually slowed me down anyways. So potentially, I will start with the G. <laughs> Not with an H. And maybe I will start with an F next time. Who knows? Because I just, I just got myself very slow. Uh, I did not anticipate that. First hour complete. All right, and see whatever suits me best. It's almost like I'm getting very comfortable with making these three hour videos. That's also an upside, more or less. Uh, tap is a very interesting word. I used it as tap series. And this is something new, in a way, because I can give value to almost anything. And I probably want to exclude myself from the equation the moment I hit the top spot, which I will. And then Taylor is going to probably take the second spot the next year. I gave Ari a bit too much credit. I watched a lot of her content this year. I finished her entire Nickelodeon career, let's put it that way. Uh, it's it's lame. The salmon cat is a little bit lame, but it's fine as well. It has it has those vibes. You have to tap tap into it. Uh, but the reason why I put this here is, um, yeah, I'm gonna split my attention a little bit towards the emotions that I feel. You know, it's not necessarily what. Uh, about taking credit anymore is about identifying what do I feel so I'll, I'm gonna become weaker because of that almost like a, a separate entity from everything else battling my own fucking demon or whatever what if I don't like the feelings that I feel well I will not take credit for it and that will make my influence work even harder in case uh, it has to be always on top or or better than 10 other people I think yeah I, I have I've put this before I'm not sure but I want to be better than top top 10 so let's see how far we have went I'll pull out my calculator and uh, slowly add things together so from Lindsay point I'll actually put the new list, the new and improved list. Let's start from the bottom. It's the easier way to copy. 
And uh, final results. All right. I'm still at 5k. All right, I, I, I gain like 200 points. I want to see if, okay, so let's say I put Scott Sis 37. Did she went up or down? Holy shit, she went up. Okay. It's pretty much easy to go up and down here. All right, so she went up. I can almost like tag her in if I want it up. Arrow up, that's cool. What else can we track? Uh, how about Kimmy? Why not? Kimmy goes from 27 to 24. I mean, everyone goes up. <laughs> This is almost a no-brainer. Why would I even care, right? Everyone goes up because a lot of people got cancelled. So that's a very simple way to look at it as well. There's also a certain bonus people, I would say. So there used to be 63, now there's, six, uh, there, there's 54. 54 a main. And uh, there's also bonus 11 people, mostly women that, you know, smash real hard. But they're just kind of indicators that they can graduate potentially super fast and I should, you know, invest more time into that. But if it's just all girls, I don't give a fuck too much. There's one mathologer in here channel but that's about it like tinder bunch of school girls like that shit yeah or just some girls from tiktok or instagram whatever there's a lot of that going on and they don't necessarily reach the top tier where like pewdiepie is or any other guy and i want more dudes in here obviously I want to figure out how to help them because I actually never did. But uh, we'll we'll find out. Now, this all is turning into a mess, but I, I'm kind of burying this behind me, anyways. It doesn't matter anymore. The old school YouTube map is no longer relevant. I would say I revived it once. And I used it as still a toilet seat, I don't know. Now that I have this functioning quite well, I enjoy it. And I might even have a Discord bot because it's a lot easier that way. And it's a lot more entertaining because other people can check it out for themselves. They type in a name or they type a shortcut and they see... Or they even see their own values and can update themselves if they want to. Um, what else do we have? So let's keep diving in, I guess. This is the second hour, so we're kind of on the right track. Smart people. Have to keep trying, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I just said about being authentic, yeah. Yeah, so that's the same thing. And you have to be also smart. Um, means that you're not a cheater or anything. You can still be like a business person. It doesn't matter, honestly. What breaks through the shield doesn't quite matter. Um, what what personality you have. I think Logan Paul is a little bit too pretentious, but even he can fully claim that he's uh, YouTube fucking avatar or whatever 
as long as he inspires me as YouTube CEO to say thumbs up on that idea. However, I don't think Logan Paul has any chance to inspire me to make YouTube videos. Uh, especially vlogs, like none of crazy things will happen. He just inspires me to think about YouTubers as such, maybe, and that's that's a lot of credit, I'm not gonna lie. Alright, so I personally am not chasing money, so rich people can steal my ideas faster. You don't, you shouldn't hold yourself too close to your ideas, okay? Ideas are like balloons that you need to let go and stay grounded. Stay full of the granite. Yes, it's nice to float around with a balloon attached and show off that you have an idea, but everyone is sniping ideas constantly. No, no, and buying off. So what you're doing is just float as a balloon and, and stay. Don't, don't float around. Just show that you have an idea. Someone's going to come up to you, buy it up, steal your ideas if, if they have to, whatever. But uh, don't don't just float around to unknown places and pretend that you have enough funding for it. All you have to do is sell out. Actually, if I made Spawn the Creepers Forge into a real thing, it would still be more of an idea level and I would be completely willing to give it up to bigger companies and sell it to uh, Microsoft for a low price, not a big price, not a Minecraft type of price where it just blows out of control and actually beats the big corporations that are just kind of willing to turn ideas into reality, which is like, fine, if that's what you want to do. I'm all for it. I'm gonna sell my idea. You know, whoever is not willing to see ideas come to life effortlessly is a loser okay and losers are not welcome in a system of capitalism that get beaten up very fast so I don't want to be a loser I'm just saying when I have an idea I will sell it I thought I wouldn't I thought I would be better than Notch but it's, it's not my choice it's just what happens in capitalism you have to let the rich people do what they want do best and invest, you know, in, in your stocks and let your stocks no longer be your stocks. That's just what happens. Um, but you have to also understand that it's no longer your stocks, so it doesn't matter. You don't have to pour too much effort into it. You don't have to strain your eyes and like, I'll make you this idea a lot better. What's done, it's done. It's not going to be better anymore. You're not going to be a better Elon Musk uh, now that you have been over invested into I don't know what I just said I'm just saying Elon Musk kind of sucks dick now <laughs> and uh, his political understanding is uh, garbage and his uh, ideas potentially can be garbage it's just he's he's a face of the company and you can still be a face of your ideas and that's that's when it, things go hand in hand they work work out in the end but what you have to understand there is no hard work there's only passion and there's the work that you have to do to get the money so it's not necessarily hard it's an anticipation okay anticipation can go through all kinds of pain unless you're being asked to uh, guess how Donald Trump is gonna pronounce his fucking phrase of some kind Jimmy Fallon I like the idea, I just don't like it that you're just crappy content creator. As a content creator, Jimmy Fallon is crap. So let's just throw him in the trash. I can't wait until John Oliver is on the fucking map. But even he's a crappy creator. When you take a closer look, right? Not only is politically leaning towards something, yeah, he's a comedian, it's nice. Yeah, his content could be a little bit more encouraging to watch, I would say. And sometimes, you know, one week 
once a week show up could be pretty slow for a content creator but I'll take it okay I'll fucking take it it's almost like a mad pet level of fucking interaction with the world except Every time MadPat creates a channel, he ensures that it's once a week at least on all the channels. <laughs> Fucking ridiculous level of work of some kind. And uh, it's better. As a country, MadPat beats John Oliver easily. Uh, it doesn't matter how well he, your jokes are put together, whether your audience laughs or not, whether you have that laugh track, it just doesn't matter. Uh, is the editing that matters altogether, which is annoying f from my point of view because I'm not, uh, I'm not putting effort into this. I'm ensuring, in that sense, right? I'm not ensuring that the video is shorter. I'm not shrinking my video. I'm just letting you guys see the raw version of all of this. With all, with all the struggles, with all the feels, with all the looks into the fucking clock. How does the, my clock looks like? Clarity is garbage because... No, charity is garbage because you need to empower yourself. This was the point that I was making about empower with money. Money is yours. You empower yourself. You invest in yourself first. And that's the highest priority you can find in your life it's just super simple um yeah 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 it does feel like i'm running a school now so i will have to start from an f because i'm so slow i can barely finish like two grades in one in one punch one hour it's impossible now i, I rather get f's all the time than get nothing all the time I'm just saying. All right, you show up at school, you deserve those two grades. Also, like the locks should feed into the grade system as well. So the more locks I find, the better preparation. So potentially, I, I should just leave it up to locks to get unlocked. Something like that. And just collect them as points, as prepped points. So I already have preps points sometimes when the video gets shut down for some reason. Okay, running your own character, charity is very rewarding, so you, charities shouldn't even exist. It's almost like Mr. Beast charity is better charity than any other charity because it's just is what it is. It's just him doing his thing. And uh, that's the most rewarding thing. And he would want to repeat it again anytime he has a chance I would say it's like don't discourage people from running big big charities of their own kind and building those charities the way they want them to fucking function it's just very simple obviously ch not charities shouldn't exist but you know yeah charities shouldn't exist but while charities shouldn't exist it should be uh, ways to, you know, build charity quickly, okay? So you're feeling charitable, you jump into a community where people are charitable, it's just very simple. And they uh, build you up as a balloon. Sure, there, there could be just workplaces that are just kind of charitable. But they're just workplaces. They should remain a workplace. They should give jobs to people. But if you're feeling charitable, they allow you to work in for free as a volunteer. And uh, you crank up some fucking valleys and you see how happy people are. But the idea of giving a volunteer work is ensuring that you're dealing with clients that are going to be happy in the end. That they get free stuff or something. You don't, you're not dealing with uh, pain and suffering. Because you're not working for money anymore. That's that's the whole difference. Uh, it's ensuring that everyone gets that win-win situation. 
And yeah, yeah, I, I'm sure some charities are like doing their work. I don't know how it all works. I don't really care about politics. I'm talking about spirit, spiritual level that I'm trying to break through. And I have to sugarcoat my fucking content as like politics. As like, like this plushy thing of like, oh, it didn't hurt me as hard as it hurt you. But because they know me. They know me just a little bit. They watch my content in some kind of capacity. They're just spiritually more equipped to deal with politics. But as I said, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how you balance. It matters how you stick and go through in whatever ways. Because when you hit the sp spiritual level, you kind of like have this little vector that inching on towards death itself, which is like the scariest thing ever that you have to accept in your life. And in, in reality in general, death. And that, that there could be still more, something more beyond it. You still have to inch towards death even though you know it's death because you don't know that it's death. And that's the whole fucking charade. Uh, you don't don't know whether the cat is dead or Schrodinger. I don't know. Gotta check. Um, you spend your time with yourself. So investing in yourself makes most sense. Uh, if you treat money as a granted service, so it's like, oh, I have earned money, so I can spend it on whatever I want. Wrong. That's not how it works. Money secures your future, so you spend it ensuring that your future is secure, that you s maximize uh, how valuable money is to you in general, not in the moment, right? Oh, I just want to grab this service or whatever. Like, It's never going to work out, especially if, if people keep trying to grab the newest iPhone like that's the craziest thing on the wish of on a wish list of people I've ever fucking seen newest iPhone iPhone really you know that shit's expensive right and that shit's on on the edge of the seat where the businessman would love to for you to buy it because they can raise up the price stinkingly high but even worse than that if you do that you're probably doing a lot of other things that is a self-granted service oh i have the money so i can spend it on this shit no you have to improve your life quality first and be charitable to yourself otherwise you can be fucking charitable you just giving yourself another service of like patting yourself on the back but at least that works because at least you don't deserve this money in the first place the, the only charity in the world that you can find and it's a wonderful point name is I don't deserve my money charity okay it's a charity for you it helps a lot of people right now you just say I don't deserve my money so I give it to whoever and whatever <laughs> okay let's just why think about it when you just give it to whoever and whatever because if you feed money into economy it actually works quite well <laughs> yes rich people get a lot of it and they stink up the economy and uh, politicians have to fucking figure out what is a a decent way to decent speed in which money can be printed back into economy because they have to keep feeding the economy as well it's just a very the vicious cycle that uh, the government mostly has to figure out most of the things and then the capital capitalism just has to figure out how to take away money from you basically uh, so it could reinvest and ensure that money is still valuable enough that everyone still wants it that their jobs still exist so rich people have to get that loop going and at some point the loop is gonna start breaking up I'm not gonna lie Capitalism will not stick around forever. Uh, in the next stage, I think people will figure out that, oh, buying the newest iPhone is not the coolest thing anymore. 
it's just not going to be the coolest thing. The coolest thing is what you're going to do with all technology because all technology is going to be fluid, I would say. It's going to be a mess. Like toys. Yeah, you have a bunch of toys, but what you're doing with them is the question. Especially when people probably will have less relationships, less babies and all that shit. So the population is going to decline a little bit. And we're going to have a boom of just another form of happiness something that i like a little bit more uh, because i have the con consequences for having a personality I'm, I'm sorry so i naturally hate capitalism but that's that's not an argument that's just i hate it all right so uh, money has to be earned twice this is the, the the whole meme of all of all the things that I've tried to explain is uh, you first earn money and then you learn how to spend you learn how to earn it you learn how to spend it those things almost like being skipped around and I don't like that and capitalism says well if you get money that's fine well I fucking don't like capitalism <laughs> I say you have to learn both of these things to be able to perform properly in the world and not offend everyone and get cancelled all the time uh, this is actually a very sensitive subject I would say where the money goes is a very sensitive subject because that's what empowerment is but we have to understand what what should it empower should it empower women and black people it's like, and then the gay people I guess in, the, in a way what? Why? You know? <laughs> Get out of here. I asked the most disgusting question of all time. But why? And of course, people are gonna come up with some fart of a reason. No, no, no. Just, just forget about the minorities. Let's talk reason only, okay? Let's talk what kind of people should get money because when we talk about race we become racist when we when we talk about only women we become sexist that sort of shit is a trap okay often engaging in politics is simply a trap okay and everyone gets cancelled. It's just the cancel culture will never stop because that's what it is. Okay, that's an A culture. Right? In this uh, B A section right here. A section. People get spiked out of control in and out of popularity of whatever they want, pretty much. It's all about drama level. But here in the spiritual level, People have a very, very good sense of how popular they are because they're spiritual equipped with experience and not disgusting uh, ups and downs, you know, that sort of stuff uh, can't really define you and shouldn't define you and politics is a wonderful little trap. And again, if I ever say vote for someone if I want you to vote, that means I want to be a president of some kind, okay? I want to be your president. Vote for me with your heart. It's just a simple fucking thing. It's, it, it matters even way more. It's like, what do you heartfully vote for? How do you gonna plant your... Plant a flag of some kind of what you believe in. Like, that's important, okay? Encouraging people to believe in something. That's important. I understand that now, actually, now that I picked it up. Uh, but uh, encur encourage people too much, and it's a scam. <laughs> Don't encourage people too much. That is uh, that is awkward. It's awkward very quickly. Anyways, we finished it. There's also, yeah, the sinkholes of dating. Did I just set it as well? Did I just talked about the sinkholes? 
if you put enough effort and I think I did accidentally and then this sinkholes actually work uh, so yeah you put enough effort and you, you follow other people's paths but it, it very much works in dating because you, you have to find which you love the most so uh, you're actually gonna get an automatic date because like everyone likes you when you're down you're the best target of all time obviously you don't like people back necessarily i'm just saying uh, so um, be careful with that that's a that's a simple trap as well other than that i ran dry and i can uh, look after runescape because runescape trade is doing pretty well 115 in 14 days for now 14 days i would say it's 10 days because uh, consistently i get 10 10 points i will also include uh, slowly the gems that i'm mining as well and gem mining is almost like one to two mil per hour so that's not bad we'll see so when i play hearthstone i usually mine some gems or something Please don't copy my behavior. Don't be an asshole. This is the way that I earn a dying. Like, play Albion for me. Let me know what this fucking place is about. Give me a tutorial. Let's play together or something. You know, find your own fucking shit to do. Anyways, so I'm, I'm jumping in. Leave you guys hanging. We'll see what next hour brings. I'm actually not sure because I've done all my homework. It was like the 10th day, and it's the cancellation start, and it's over, and uh, I canceled some people, and it worked out quite well. It's going to clean up the whole mess. It bumped up a lot of people, and I want to fill in that gap, right? So I, I want to constantly have like around 60 people, because uh, that's about as many people as I can check mark. And I'll check mark them every like one or two months. I think it's gonna be two months. Every two months I'm gonna check mark them. It's a, it's a 10 day process, so it's not something I wanna do every month. I could do it just for fun every month, but then I start canceling a bunch of people too. It's just a lot of pressure, right? So I don't wanna I don't wanna do it one every one month. That would like take up one third of the month as well. That's a lot of time being spent just checking up on people so i think two months is a good uh, uh after every two months i shall repeat this process of cleaning and at the same time while I'm doing the cleaning, I'll fucking do the real life cleaning. So everything's aligned, motherfuckers. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I hate cleaning, obviously. I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. Uh, let me just do, do my chores, though. Alright, so... I want to bring back the clock because... Uh, I want to know exactly what's going on right now and how this landscape looks like as I climb through into the management position. So let's put it like that, management mapping. The creator and what? I don't know how I could forget about it, but I did. Talent, okay.
Yeah, so using this timeline, I should be able to kind of understand what's going on right now and what kind of crisis is possible. Whatever is possible is conjured all the time, but it has its own reason. And I want to listen to the reason and then I can understand, you know, what my reaction is supposed to be because you're supposed to relate to the reason not the outcome of something not someone screaming but why they're screaming you know like that sort of stuff not someone being in pain but why they're in pain because you might be in pain too without realizing that's where you want to relate to reason anyways uh, always try to find and relate to reason which is what we're gonna try and do. Um, not sure which way is best to read. I also said like, okay, this this is a section where you bump into politics, ceiling, and recognize what this entire field is all about. Uh, it's a raise and fall of quick, dram dramatic ideas, basically. So we can almost like call it the idea section. That's interesting. If you're, if you survive all the way here to the management, your ideas actually start mattering quite a lot. So here you go. That's what it's all about. And you're being bounced out for some reason as well. That's, it's a very interesting question. And somehow politics is supposed to be involved. So, it's almost like a draw of your ideas, I don't know. We'll figure it out. But in the spiritual world, you're not supposed to bring ideas, necessarily. You should have sold it already, right? So I think that's the political balance that happens. You gain an incredible amount of power, basically, accidentally. And that's what bounces you off you realize oh shit I don't need ideas I just need to do what I desire almost the idea is like intention but uh, you have the wings that desire right I call it wings and you must have sold all the ideas out to build new ones in a in a new light because you you're capable of doing anything ever uh, but you sold the idea so it's it's below you it's generating your possibilities basically because idea means something that haven't occurred yet but once you have desires everything's occurring anytime you want and reaching that spiritual level <laughs> where anything happens you like or you want like uh, that's that's pretty high okay and that's pretty bouncy this fucking wall obviously and uh, this is still bound to socialism bound to you being a human being basically <laughs> that's kind of what it is pretty cute however on the lower levels if we start going now you know like we have to understand those lower levels and reason with them as best as we can because uh, this is where you know all the troubles erupt pretty much and try to hold on to you while you're climbing up either way because you're gonna find your way up one way or the other right but uh, maybe not. Maybe you'll throw your identity out of here. You know? Maybe you need some courses of how to drive safely and not crash your fucking car into some accidental, terrible relationship. Let's put it that way, because that shit happens more often than not. And, uh. 
the most important question is like, what, what are these sections for? So, uh, and not necessarily they are defined by numbers either, but we say just this this human thing. We're not necessarily gonna be humans forever, in a way, which is uh, a weird statement. But we we only gonna be able to say this statement once we're comfortable not being human and not being social and all those things once we're comfortable then uh, then we can uh, change this number to something else but in order to reach the comfort we have to you know rotate these numbers until they're satisfied too so that's what creates time is you have to satisfy a statement of some kind um, so let's let's move on here this is what I would call the government which is also pretty obvious the G boys this would be the business I think building a business building a government is higher building yourself as a human being is obviously the highest thing that you need to understand about the timeline and then uh, on a low end where just talented people are is about I think I'll call it the market okay you, you have to be marked almost as a valuable human being you have to apply yourself to the market uh, so what are the leading words that we can apply here? I almost like like the mark because it It says talent in a different way And it's linked with market. Yes And it's it's almost like an introduction to our, our reverse is true mentality where mapping is required in this position more or less as like a initial move or a main category of what you have to learn something like that it's almost like I ind identify yourself and everything else you don't have to save it and store it that's not necessarily your responsibility you just have to learn what everything is and uh, on the second level um, that's a okay I, I'm kind of already tripping boys by, by the way what the fuck is going on I am breaching the second level just now and I don't quite have all the clues yet. It's all about the business stuff. And you would think, like, I, I know all the clues here. Like, how possible that I don't have enough clues here. But let's just not worry about it. I probably have more clues than I need. So that's what makes it so confusing. And uh, I know what means... To be a creator, right? You have multiple talents too. And when you have multiple, almost like outs, outlets, you just spread ideas. So the question is pretty much what do you spread, I guess? If you're spreading talent, which is not exactly true, you almost now you're spreading your wings but in a different way you're building them up ah, this is interesting I would say it's B that's what business means as well just B well, go well the government deals with politics essentially it deals with ideas the business is about settling down okay so I'll, I'll say B but 
like highlight it, that it's a grounded word in a way. Uh, settling down. So identifying things, you kind of move a few pieces around and then you settle down. And once you settle down, you start picking up and growing ideas, I suppose. Until uh, you can act upon your ideas and then finally the truly meaningful things happen in your life, which is interesting. Now, my important point is we live in 2020, it's not gonna, it's in our grasps, okay? It's almost, we have too much power already by knowing what year it, it, it is and uh, what is possible. But even uh, crazier when you use a tool like mine, which is an identity just through numbers of what 2020 looks like from a logical perspective, let's put it this way. So uh, there's a special type of marking that you have to do. There's a special type of settlement that you have to do. A special type of you know hierarchical heights that I identified differently this time than it was previously. Now, like looking at the crisis perspective, we can't do that yet because we have to settle down what what those tips are. Honestly, it's almost like fucking pencil tips. And then we can draw the crisis basically <laughs> once we have the hierarchy nail down uh, so what are the highest things we can find here in the mark section what are the most powerful marks I mean I, I immediately like want to like finish the drawing right with the I mark or like the dollar sign mark or just combining all of them together as a mark of some kind of weird form of capitalism that's happening on a very low level, I would say. But even even weirder than that, this belongs here. I attached YouTube as like the hierarchy mark. And uh, YouTube is a self-projection platform. The most important part to understand is how would a normal person, a regular person, supposed to use YouTube to the maximum extent because uh, internet is available to you and you have to be able to use it, maximize it. And I think this is the ultimate platform for exactly that, understanding the, the full potential of the internet and self-projection it's it's a big deal I would say I you just exist and all of a sudden there's an environment that potentially desires to observe you desires to invest into you there are streams going all over the place see streams of power you don't necessarily get to tap into the other side and understand those streams. Just like you don't know whether I'm watching your Woody or not. And that could change the way that you perceive the world. Just knowing that a, a, a smart person is observing you. Like that's crazy. But um, so you have all these streams that sort of observe you and you have to be able to be observable I think mostly to yourself there's another stream of power basically it's the regeneration of power that allows you to accumulate all these things as well so again we, we have four streams going on which is the ultimate mark, I would say. 
Now, what what we what would be the crisis factor of all of this? Well, always the crisis factor is not understanding. I think it's the first thing that I say. So you, you don't understand this. Well, we're in trouble then, or you in trouble rather, not me. So uh, we have to ask a simple question why self-projection is so important. It's so lame <laughs> that I can't make points anymore. But we have to maybe try and pause yet again by force and just squeeze whatever comes out of this thing, right? So we have marks, we have settle down mentality uh, identifying this you know there there's some sacred numbers in there but there's just one two three four like the wings always gonna refer to wind wind and not necessarily water but water is what you know is mixed up here in terms of time the, this this tier list is always going to be linear so these identities don't necessarily mean anything connected to the numbers just yet but once you do connect you kind of see the important parts of what your role is I would say so let's just attempt to make a point the current role is to present yourself let's put it this way right present yourself you have to do this you must understand why you have to do this to get the eyeballs to get viewership of some kind okay some people to be interested in you one way or the other and it's going to get closer and closer to you each time as you succeed your tasks, basically, in presenting yourself, the opportunities are going to show up alongside of this. But most importantly, those opportunities are investors running around and looking for where to put their money in because now uh, they kind of av evoke that power to invest into their environment. But they're running around because most of the time they don't have an environment yet because they're so rich or whatever and then there's this, this stream of just pure power pure understanding of what it means to present yourself you know you want to make a good first impression just figure out where that first impression truly matters okay so it's a very interesting question where does I need a an good answer on this question, the first impression, right? So someone enters your channel and it, it happens every time. The first impressions are uh, a never ending stream of that. But when someone gives in to, to your impression, it's, it shares power technically. It's hard to tell why. <laughs> you just have to understand it emotionally. What it means that, well, when you looked from a hierarchy perspective, because if you looked from a hierarchy, if you observed from a hierarchy, uh, if you paint an eye like Illuminati, this is actually kind of weird. I in a weird place because whatever it sees it actually cannot perceive lower beings or higher beings it has to perceive its own level beings uh, your eye should not wonder let's put it that way so 
if i is confined to the hierarchy is it's not the i that matters is the hierarchy that matters it's almost like the prism of hierarchy that sees things so you being in that perspective of someone's hierarchy basically and obviously get to choose which people you care about which eyeballs to poke and make them retreat basically it's like i don't like you i don't like you you turn off a bunch of people which uh, investors to turn down all that shit is a uh, question mark now on the next level side once you find a platform to settle down you're settling down and answering all these questions of who to trust right who do you trust? And what trust truly is as well. Uh, you know that you can't trust money because money is a constant, uh, constantly moving object. So if you invest into something and the stocks plummet, you lost. There's nothing that tells you when you invest that you know, you've earned trust. No, you're just gambling. So you understand to try and avoid gambling. Uh, obviously, the best way to trust something is rotate the opportunities or let them enter your fucking field of your view, of your ability to observe them back. But uh, now it actually gives even a, a more interesting question of... Uh, what is the easiest way to establish trust in uh, some kind of relationship? Now that's a fucking... It sounds like I'm about to discover the most amazing relationship advice ever. So, I think I need to buckle up or something and declare second hour complete. Okay. How do you develop trust? It's all, it all comes down to doing tasks together, right? You not only settle down with the platform, but you kind of align yourself with other people as well. So being a YouTuber alone would mean kind of very little unless there's more to it and there's no more people trying to do the same thing uh, if if your goals kind of align and like as a human being you have aligned goals almost necessarily there's no other way i'm sorry about that we all have kind of aligned hope aligned goals but sometimes our ideas are twisted in fact, we agree that our ideas are always going to be wrong in this section because all we want to do is settle down. All we want to do is be comfortable being with someone and separating the parts that don't work and combining the parts that do work. And that's the, the idea. I think it really helped me. Okay, I'm going to highlight Niki Limo at this point. It really helped me to understand that a lot of people have conflicts in life and relationships because uh, they keep conflicting ideas together, too close together, okay? To trust someone, be together, but keep conflicts apart. Pretty simple, right? If you can't fucking sleep comfortably in one bed, you just pull the beds apart or stay in separate rooms. Just but, but you try and put things together at the same time and see how close they can get. And uh, the closer they can, the closer it gets, the, you know, the, the more ideas are coming together. And uh, this is kind of the test of like some kind of 
marital test. I don't know. The people go through. Uh, but uh, now that 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 already fucking destroys me as a human being, because I got no relationships. What are we talking about? I can only barely understand this factor. What the fuck? I'm almost like I'm. I'm a little. I feel a little bit too ahead. But uh, there's a good reason for it. Okay, I'm kind of under fire right now. Uh, I know people are wasting their time, and they almost can fucking afford it. And they're gonna shove it in your face. I was like a useful human being, and everyone fucking trusts me and value me and it's all fucking good uh, until you're gonna get cleaned off and all that dirt comes off and you're just gonna be a little piece of turd but because you've you've uh, you're full of shit <laughs> you know uh, people perceive you as bigger and more important and well still shitty but that's like the underdog move right like so much work but not because nobody can trace you your bag o only people can observe like the the result of everything so there's obviously bigger people who act stupid but they still remain big uh, and it all comes down to the ultimate power of money and I'm, f I'm feeling like Money is so fucking weird. Like, everything can be turned into money, right? It means that it's some kind of matrix value, almost. Everything. Everything you look at it could be turned into money. Well, that's crazy. Everything has value. And it does. And uh, that's the allowance, basically, that everyone has, and I don't. I have to learn things as fast as possible because when it comes to facing real life I'll have barely anything that I can hang on to however that's the biggest question who do I partner with who do I try and trust build trust and whatever fucking build trust series I don't know this sounds like fucking the weirdest thing of all time I almost like Let's just remove T series or or like the the trap, except I call it trat because uh, it's about to rat someone in a fucking cage. There's rust in the in the cage. Why is there rust, man? Not only there's Russian, but there's also U.S. at the same time. That's fucking awesome, dude. What is this thing? Okay, that's... That's... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Doctor Who, motherfuckers. If I start speculating about this shit, I might never find what kind of partner do I need to find in the first place in life. Maybe it's, it's my journey right now, seeking for a partner. And I don't know what it is yet. But women look attractive. <laughs> women look like from another world having high level ideas and being straight feels like a very very powerful thing to do okay being straight and not some fucking lunatic sexual lunatic or like i like anime girls and furries or something <laughs> eh. yes i kind of like it but it's i know how much work gets put into that shit so I don't want to fucking relate to that at all unless it's like it's already done I have to f pick it up you know like like a fucking flower well it's already grown I have to know what happened as a process that spawned the whole fucking thing just have to try and enjoy whatever we have as a resource because technically we have to forget that resources stay in one place especially in this fucking burning period it's like well as long as you have money to burn no problem but if you don't you have to 
uh, try and slow down the burning as best as you can and uh, be in incredibly smart it's almost like a I might just end up partnering with myself I don't want to be doomed about it okay I always keep my hopes up when it comes to this shit and uh, even now like yeah, my Tinder profile is going to always say something similar. It's like, you can be my partner. You know, it's, it's going to poke people's eye out with this factoid. And that doesn't mean I'm fucking single or anything. Because there's no fucking uh, reason to assume any of this shit that you understand about human relationships. Uh... Um, the only thing I do understand is like women live in a completely different world and they make themselves attractive and it's like pluses and minuses and that's what I have to follow it's a fucking ideology you know I you grab onto one idea that's supposed to lift you up because it's coming around almost like politics is trying to destroy ideas in order to create those black holes that suck in people that that fill in basically so politics is trying to be intentionally problematic <laughs> so uh, people feel good about holding on to something because it's personal now right it's gonna fit in your understanding of the way the world works and you're gonna be able to take a lot of credit for that basically so that's cool uh, I hope I, I gave enough hints what exactly this is but you know I have more than that I have more than just who do I want to relate with because I've never really fucking related with women yet and that's crazy I've never spent time with a woman that's crazy to me or enough time to where like oh or just, yeah, I mean, like, we're friends type of fucking situation. Fucking friendship would be amazing. You know, that's fucking crazy. But there's, there's so many more problems. And there's another, you know, what we're trying to figure out is the conflict. So the conflict happens when you're presenting yourself in a half-assed fashion, right? Because uh, if you find a different platform that's mainstream, basically. And mainstream, this is actually what it means. The mainstream is where you're going to be found, how you're going to be identified, and uh, how you're feeding opportunities to people to interact with you or whatever. What kind of opportunities do you feed? All of these things going to be tested and all that. It's quite fascinating. And you have to have just some kind of a talent that you would be interesting to yourself too that's the fourth thing is that be talented you know that's the main quirk but the main highlight is always going to be the investing into you because like when investment happens almost like almost everything changes in a way almost like you become twice as attractive but also twice as responsible for something so that could also happen you have to be prepared for that it's a it's a huge marking process okay and potentially when I bumped into this a new section in my life I had to double check if everything is fine if I understand this properly so now looks pretty cool however this this section is weird it's obviously you trust yourself right but then uh you have to fit in somehow and uh how about how many people do you trust and does my youtube map actually help well i am pretty much calculating influence around me and then I 
but that's but that's just the interest of what am I interested in? It almost doesn't solve my problems at all. It doesn't change my personality at all. I don't know. This is gonna be something I'll have to leave for later. I, I thought I had it. I had something really cool, right? A relationship advice. How do you settle down? What kind of crisis can happen out of that? So I'm gonna put it in the background and see if I can solve it. It's almost like you, it's so easy, actually. You know, I come back home and now I'm interested in making relationships and my mom is not gonna run away anywhere and she's kind of a woman, you know? And we don't have to be creepy about it. It's my mom, okay? It's just my mom and she's insane and uh, nobody wants to spend time with her, but she's useful in some ways. And you trying to like make ensure that the ideas that work, they in the right place. They're in the middle. They work for both of us, right? That's the the, the important part. I think it's just so easy to note this down. The ideas that work supposed to be in between both people, or whatever, whatever number there, there is of people, the ideas that work, the ideas that you can combine together and agree upon, that's the fucking sweet spot. And the moment you grow that sweet spot to a, a very high level, that's when you le reach the idea level, because now you have a fucking gem crafted molded through relationships and again it just kind of slowly marks you more of a human being each time you cross the section kind of reaching to that so government the mind control but it is mind control because it's a world of ideas so uh you gotta understand that so, whole nother section, you, if you bounce, you get a bunch of power, but that just means you need to explore more to find more ideas and more relationships, which you know how to build now, and know how to build trust, and uh, collect those gems, basically. But what does that mean, right? So, if you combine two people together, that's your gem. What if you intersect people together and become the number two or something? What if that's money in a nutshell of what you're trying to do? You know, trying to get that infinity, uh, a relationship of infinity or something. Who knows? At this point, we're fucking stretching the canvas so much uh, but for the most part, I mean, I, I just bumped into another fucking coronavirus video and the lockdowns are happening on Ireland or something. Run! If you don't like it. I like how I live. It's fine here with me. You know, that sort of stuff. I guess you can't run. Ho hopefully they will let you go. I still speak English, so I'm technically a very uh, neighboring guy. I don't know. You can understand my lifestyle. And I'm a poor guy, so I will open my arms to any fucking big back person. Back from the war zone. Okay, so uh, technically coronavirus stuff is boring i don't give a fuck you should give a fuck though not me it's boring it's just not my level honestly i'm the one who fucking uses youtube to the, the squeeziest extent okay to maximum and if you're not using it for maximum you stuck complaining <laughs> that's bad 
Yeah, bad things can happen and the government can knock at, you, knock at your door and say, you have to wear this device so we can read uh, you as a statistic of some kind. And you, you have to be able to say no. If people don't respect your consent uh, and they're not being reasonable, now you have to ask your way out of here. So now you have to know. Fuck it, man. But uh, that's that's what turn up the heat right now. The the heat is turned up. The overpopulation, technological booming, aligned with people's separation from each other. The school booming, where you know, again, separation is also so uh, next level at this point. Just separation of every kind but there's more stuff there's more wealth all all the time so there's like secret competitions going on hoping that you know you enter someone else's world and you can steal something from them and that that just never uh changes now and that's the way you do business is all all about entering someone's world brainwashing them stealing something and running away successfully it's uh, something that can just can be monitored by any government it's your responsibility to keep yourself safe which is super fucking annoying uh, for me because like yeah, yeah I don't I don't like this at all I don't like this at all man because the biggest annoying part is that it feels like people created a bunch of problems in exchange for the world to be like a, a brighter place. You know, just like cooking up a fireplace, it will create a problem of like you have to keep throwing fuel and uh, you have to adjust how much light do you want, how much warmth do you want. Uh, how much fuel can you afford? All these things now we have to adjust. We have to take care of every single resource. So, uh, you know, it's one thing to tell a scary campfire story. Another thing is uh, to be scared of the campfire. This is, this is the best, man. I, I can't, I can't, it's double line, guys. It's double line and a star. <laughs> you know, the campfire is scarier than any of your stories, actually. I'm, I'm really sorry about that. Because it's sucking up a bunch of trees right now. Just for the sake that we can fucking sit around at night. Yeah, very funny, guys. Very fucking funny. Uh, it it could have sucked in a bunch of effort of a bunch of people who needed to figure out the fuel. Now, now the fuel not so fucking crazy expensive anymore. And again, when we have a bunch of problems, we also have a bunch of people working overtime, just trying to figure out how to solve all these problems i mean cool i have to praise those people the survivors of all the problems because i'm not a survivor i'm like holy shit how many problems are there it's like the world wants to make problems now this is the entertainment of today the problems because they light up our path you know we need we need more onision and more drama <laughs> on YouTube cancel more people oh shit it's, it's getting pretty dry well if uh, if we use YouTube properly it's never gonna get dry anymore it's just gonna be discovered left and right and uh, the discussion is gonna live on someone can just discover me and ask me a bunch of questions and I will talk that's crazy, right? Most people wouldn't talk. So, uh, discovery is everything in this case. 
and uh, you don't have to feel discovered in this level okay you just have to be because people are gonna rotate around and seek for the things they like they're not gonna seek for you when they seek for the things they like but uh, the people who establish themselves they're gonna look down and they're gonna start fishing around for who to trust you know the trust games and it's very easy to trust the underdog I would say a person who's like really fresh and pretty much asking the same question who do you trust if you just ask Lulis as the person uh, next to you like that's a very interesting idea to build on is the, that thing the question mark basically I think yeah that's a uh, I like that like that it's fascinating the question mark is the, the greatest uh, idea to build upon because like you're both confused about something you're both asking some kind of question and you will both see it as best as you can so with this every answer is gonna be contribute you'll probably just throw question marks as you know into a campfire because this time that's the main hierarchy here so the main hierarchy here is a stream which fucking weird like nothing is streaming nobody watches you no so the real the real deal is actually just establishing the opening stream opening so you actually have nothing no water running but you still have uh, opened the possibility of water <laughs> running I don't know how else, but best to tell it otherwise and once possibility is there you know you, that's how you call rain as the, you become the rain caller the storm caller whatever whenever people start you know sharing water with each other you're ready for it basically uh, and because you pro properly put the stream down properly programmed it you're gonna get small dose of stream and you're gonna test it test your power level because this is the section where you have to trust yourself right is set up yourself then trust other people then trust this system pretty much and uh, trust reality well, it's just pretty cool levels as well tier list voice yeah there's, there's only a big question why do I know too much now it's definitely sat down too many times on rant videos and don't worry, my mind gets washed away, and sometimes a map sticks down, and I'm like, holy shit. That is scaringly powerful. Uh, I would love to know how much influence, you know, I can improve upon. I want to feel my own videos, maybe. Touch myself, yeah, 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 sure. Watch my own videos and see how cool they are, but it's impossible for me because I keep moving forward you know this is literally a fart this whole thing just a little fart scary all right I'll uh, I'll take a step back I'm not sure where I'm going anymore I did put a lock where I'm like when I was in in a hospital last year straight up from UK straight up into a fucking hospital bed I was also locked up, and this is how a lockdown feels like sometimes, especially now. Like, people being unreasonable because they're scared. That's where you fucking lose all your reason, alright? If you are scared, you're losing reason. <laughs> it's almost like, in the end of 2018, I learned what it is that fear is and almost like fear has its own like even scent it pu 
pulls out fucking energy from your body. It's like, well, you're scared, so you don't need this energy, I guess. You don't need life energy of some kind. And someone can just sit, sit next to you and just suck in that energy. And uh, be super happy about it. And I wouldn't be happy about it, because that's the scariest thing ever. And all of a sudden, now we're, you're playing this fucking death game with someone. Like, what the fuck? You just smell out my fucking spirit? Out of the body, I like. Yeah, so yeah, it's just like probably the scariest feeling you can ever pick up as like an idea, right? <laughs> Hi, God. Thanks. Very nice relationship we having here. Very big question mark we pull together. Yeah, that's the first relationship you're gonna get. You and the God, the possibility of you, and actually probably exist. You know. God is the possibility of you because that's everything you're going to observe in life. How else can you define God? <laughs> what the fuck? Are you insane? Everything you, you're going to observe, everything you will know in the future, basically your future you that experienced everything, that's God right there. Literally nothing else is God besides that. But your future you is constantly running around as like, which future me is future me, you know? Which God is which, you know? Like, uh. So that's why you can't even pin down one God. You have to fucking look at millions of them. Just as many as there are stars. Who are you going to become? And, uh... Yeah, but that's the relationship. But... It, can we go deeper than this? Because now, like, you lose reason. You're losing reason. But now, okay, so the other person becomes more reasonable, right? They suck in your fear. But that's, but that's where they have to run. Because they know there's one reason and one reason alone. Someone is settled. Someone owns a particular place. Um, someone, you know knows all these things that surround you you can't just be trapped in the box uh, that you don't you can't acknowledge fully there's there's something that you know there's an escape from the permanent of like someone sits sits around and they just suck in your energy or something that's crazy but I do feel that that is possible and I want to explore what that is by the way that shit is super scary extremely scary uh, for example like if you can stress a person comes into your room and you can stress them out uh, that's a that's a big move but you can stress them out if they're armed and if they possess more power than you have. Uh, so there's there's a lot of fucking conditions. Switches on and off. Uh, so what do you do then? Then you just feed them fear. Because that's what... The only thing that will keep them out is despite them controlling a bunch of weapons of some kind. Uh, they will still act unreasonably and we'll suck in reason and then we'll act reasonably and leave how about that but uh, what I'm looking at here is I want to understand the nature of fear because it's supposed to be a natural thing and easy to understand uh, but fear makes me fear and that's the worst thing of all. Just to be able to observe something if you become something. And I don't want to give people reasons. Okay? When you lose something, someone else picks it up for you. This is this is one thing I probably can't allow myself to do anymore. Just be scared. And people fucking pick up on that very easily as well. And they know what to do naturally 
fucking pick on you, just sit on you basically. While you scared. Some kind of fucking bullshit, man. If you're scared, you go home. Because that's where you remain reasonable. All the time. This is why you need to settle down. To be able to manage your fears. And, uh... That's... That's already a too deep of a fucking topic already. Like, ugh. The fears, man. And, uh... Now, the question is, like, why should you even care about the environment anymore? And you don't. You don't care. You just settle down. What you care about is the interactions. The environment did not show up here and does not show up here. The environment kind of shows up here as, like, an entire country. And again, this is all because, potentially, because... Valley systems are restructured a little bit of what matters basically, right? So it's not necessarily the environment that matters, but your health, I think. Whether you're warm and happy. <laughs> you know? You're secure in terms of like just survivability settlement super simple and nobody's bothering you to the point of like uh, you, you're losing ability to survive and that, that's the most important part if something bothers you a little bit that's that's just boring it's gonna go away most of the time if you just ignore it if you do something more fun or or you just uh, realize how you no know, boring it is, and you point it out because it can constantly turn people around. You know, you shove a torch in someone's face; they have to turn around. It's not like fire is always a happy and pleasing and satisfying thing. It can be used as a weapon too, just as easily. Uh, so yeah, that survivability boys take care of that but most importantly beyond survivability deeper than that is uh to trust yourself because like if if you can't trust yourself you can't establish anything that's useful right i don't necessarily trust myself 100 percent, but i now have to i'm an adult i grew up into this position but if you're lesser than that, you have to look back what I had to live through, which is seven years of just making mistakes constantly. And I, I still don't fully trust myself, but because uh, I don't feel like I have to worry about that stuff. You know, I only have to worry about decisions I am making. And if I decide not to make any decisions, those decisions are going to be made for me. And most of, the time, most of the time right now, people think, oh, uh, we just, we like more problems, so we're not going to make decisions for you, actually. The decision that's going to be made is like, oh, we're going to leave you and we're not going to care about you at all. Well, that's not exactly my decision to do completely nothing. You know, my decision is to do nothing in terms of what, what, what's like the most necessary thing to do because i don't find it necessary what's the most social thing to do or whatever like none of that matters to me so you know wait that's manipulation that's double manipulation almost but it's it's just align yourself with the fire and align yourself with whatever society is doing because if otherwise if you're not doing it you're not being normal and if you're not being normal you're weird and you're gonna get no streams of water flowing in it doesn't matter whether i do or not it's just uh, what ends up happening is like you're being unfair and that's it you're being evil and that's it 
just like, will you give credit to evil? No. We're just gonna continue life as as it goes. So the most important thing is yet yeah, trust yourself. Identify everything, and mostly your ability to identify things as well. <laughs> Anyways, I'll take a break now for sure. We'll see what we can end up with. Uh, Alright, got some emergency juice to finish up my uh, pointer uh, rant. Alright. I'm I'm watching John Oliver, okay? It's, it's a little bit annoying. Because uh, you will never get a non-government uh, <laughs> it's like solution go vote. Nah, dude. Uh, that's not brain juice. That's just brainwash. Okay. Yeah. Sure. You can fix immigration and maybe cause other problems to happen if you vote to the other side. And if we juggle hot potato, maybe we can solve some problems here, you know, because opportunities open up. But once opportunities open up, that's when you have to take action anyways. And uh, there's always opportunities all the time of any kind. It doesn't fucking matter. And once we do chase opportunities, we discover and uh, take full advantage of them unless we have been brainwashing people of what they're supposed to be doing as if that's an important action to take so the biggest questions are quite big <laughs> they're quite big what can a person do to be charitable and useful to the society it's, that's a big question but here's what fucking kicked me in the fucking balls the freeze effect the freezer all right think about it this way most diseases are not defeated they are delayed that is how we fight diseases these days because that's the only way we know how to fight diseases. We actually are defenseless against diseases for some reason. What happened to our fucking reality? <laughs> we are defenseless to diseases. Do we even understand what it is? Is it really that bad? Well, yes, it's really that bad when we multiply population a little bit too much. That's a first. And now, you know, T-Series could... <laughs> Could also be a reference to Indians never fucking stopping populating themselves. What a, what has happened? At least they're not struggling too much, right? Well, I, I don't know. All I know about them is that they scam people. Uh, that's... And they scammed YouTube too. What the fuck? And I'm like, I'll buy into this scam. This seems profitable scam. What the fuck, man? I'll take care of T-Series anytime, man. It's gonna be my name now. I'll scam the scammer. It's so easy. It's the easiest thing to do. So, um... Unless YouTube actually defends the Indians. What the fuck? I'll be very, very upset. Uh, and surprised, and... Just more surprised than upset, actually. Because we need to fight it back. Fuck it. Anyways, you, you can see, you know, in the medical department, or the department of Paul Ease, which is Paul Eyes, of some kind, and then the medical department is also quite an icing on the cake of some kind as well. Basically, both of them operate as higher levels of government, I would say. Because these are uh, opposed government, basically. The, the hand of government is what, where the action happens. They still have to ensure themselves that they're on a, 
you know, uh, on the right side, they're not gonna get dragged back into court and washed, washed away. Is not the part of the hand of the government. But we can claim now police and medics are part of hand of government. Not hand of God, hand of gov. <laughs> oh, that's an interesting thing. What happens when you substitute D for a we? What happens there? It almost sounds like government turned a dick into a giant at this point. Holy shit. Government is a female entity. Uh, that's interesting. <laughs> I, I don't want to fucking <laughs> dig deeper than this. This is already hilarious. Uh, so you have, uh, the hands working. It's almost like, yeah, the hands are the opposite of God. That's, that's what it's trying to tell here. When you substitute something into, when we womanize. You potentially, if it's meant to be God, then what's happening right now is just the reverse. Which is kind of pure evil but by, by working for pure evil you must remain good because you're still a human being obviously so uh, this is what happens right you, you still have a weapon of mass destruction a freezer you can treat anything as a disease and you can create infinite amount of lockdowns because of fear. And that's what it comes down to, fear of some kind. You see something, oh my god, that's symptoms of, of some kind of disease. And uh, you test positive for something. Fuck off, man. That is just bullshit. And the death rates are calculated through bullshit means as well. Everything is bullshit. We need better observations first before we decide to do something, before we decide to solve problems. We need to be able to observe better. And schools schools do not provide that. Colleges don't provide that. Barely internet provides that because internet is an observation technology, pretty much, uh, or a framework for observation. Uh, gives you framework for observation this is where you learn it you couldn't have learned it anywhere else unless you want to observe bugs or something animals you want to observe that because people don't want to be observed unless it doesn't bother them okay unless there's no cameraman walking around or there's many of them walking around in various different places and reporting things and uh, you you, you have a collective of information that you can observe as a collective. It's a big deal. It's what I'm doing. And I understand this framework. So, I also understand, as I've said, without proper observation, you can't fully solve problems. And this is where it all comes down to a very simple trick. I don't want to die. So I will freeze myself. And anyone who's sick, I'll freeze them. That's what happens. That's what medicine is supposed to do. It's just numb, numb some kind of thing in your body. Forget it. It's the forgetfulness medicine. And then, like, uh, why would vaccines be injecting you with the same thing, by the way? And, uh, it, as the virus is, not necessarily antibodies, but the bodies. It's, it's hard to tell what vaccines are supposed to do. But it's much easier to figure out what would people do in order to fight the disease and what would be the most 
you know, sophisticated way that looks super clean, super fast, super efficient. And for me, it's definitely freezing. Okay. You know, what if you decide that hatred is a disease? That opening mouth and saying something is a disease. Well, you just freeze the mouth. You just stop people from talking. And freezing sounds like an amazing idea. Your your hatred will be delayed until it explodes in your face and takes your head off when it explodes. I hope you like that because this is what's happening right now. Sometimes when you freeze stuff, it doesn't freeze. It get it just waits just a little bit longer, observes, and it comes back with better observations of what you're fucking doing wrong. So diseases have actually a reason to evolve now, now that they're being frozen. Diseases and mental illness is evolving, not devolving. By freezing them, you're just delaying the problem, which gets worse. And I have to deal with it now. I. The fucking thinking smart person has to deal with it. But first, you know, I have to, like, move the hands of government away uh, from, from the problem and say with full courage and consent that I can, in fact, heal people. You know, once the healing is invented, sure, you have to invent healing, but it's not what you think it is. Most of the time... You have to find the courage to just swipe the hands off. And that's all it takes because people can heal for themselves most of the time. It's ridiculous. Sometimes the hand of government causes more disease than it should be. By freezing people in place and not allowing them to, you know, observe each other. <laughs> As at least for, for what the nature provides us with observation now with the internet yes there's a next level lockdown that we can accept and tolerate and our government will always fucking detect that tolerance because it detects how many people complain it detects complaints and and it wants to detect complaints in a way complaints are tedious but government kind of is a public service sort of uh entity they want it or not they don't know what else to do they need a certain amount of complaints to even exist which is like uh, when left and right fight each other left and right designed to fight each other to empower the government because it's it's powered by complaints. It's powered by, oh, I want this change right now. Oh, I want this. Go ahead and do it. No, government does not want to give you power. Okay, government wants to take power from you. So the more you fight, the more you say I want something and you're not getting it. You're not reaching for it. You're going to lose it. You're actually going to lose it. Someone else is going to grab it for you. And... The moment you say, I don't want it anymore, they'll keep it. They'll keep it because they will also say, name their price. They, they hold it in their hands now. Okay, you can have it, but you have to pay me this, this, and that. You have to give me what I want too. So you're asking a bunch of things for the government. You're asking a bunch of things from Gov. But you don't know what government wants in return. Oh, government just wants your soul, of course. It's a, it's such a fucking interesting equation, I would say. And this, the, this freezing mechanic of diseases. And we feel like we defeated something because it doesn't exist. Because we froze it. Which is how it feels like. I have no evidence to support this idea. Do I? Well, we put people to jail. We don't actually fix people, you know. 
Like, uh, that's a pretty good indication I'm going the right way. We put people in hospitals, not just give them advice, okay? People go to jail. They are not fixed, okay? If you want to fix something, you hire a service. The service comes to your door, and they fix you. And it happens pretty fucking fast. And it actually can happen pretty fast. Because we have invented crazy amount of things. And they all symbolize the ability to fix a human being's life. Put them on the right track. Put them on the less... Uh, on the track that's slightly less suffering. And that's fixing right there. You put a little bit of fucking... Uh, put them on less suffering place and that's fixing right there improvement is, is is never like a bad deal is it now and if we are so into services that's one service that we have to uh, take away from the government after all actually while the time runs through you know while the time is running, government is actually losing power because the power is the amount of time you have to control things. Okay, the control is your power, but it's also tied with the time. All right, and time is sinking into something. Means that while we're inventing things, someone is losing control over things at, at the same time. It's the same rate of technology beating government. Technology eating government fucking T series. Let's go motherfuckers. That's what we're talking about. So maybe Indians are not that fucking assholes after all because they gave me the most powerful punch of all time. Yes. Motherfuckers. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna skip the D, just like government skip the D. We're gonna get straight to the T. Actually, it really fits the vagina thing as well. Damn it. <laughs> I hate it so much, the sexualization of every single object that you find. As including the alphabet, are you serious right now? But this is tech serious, okay? Is that is this the strongest word that I can handle right now? Well, yeah, it beats the, the government. It beats me. <laughs> Mr. G, dude. The G. But government does not have a heart. So when I say G-star, that's that's the true identity that I have. That's the, the person that's talking to you. Because remember, government only works when it talks to you. Yep, he has to talk to you every every now and then and convince you of things to be a certain way. Now the government kind of bleeds all over the internet, doesn't know what to do, doesn't actually exist. They will have to re reposition themselves because essentially we gonna figure out eventually this doesn't work. The delay effect does not work and fixing people's lives is easier than fucking we have ever thought because someone can fix my life improve my life just a little bit and it doesn't cost very much and my improvement of my life if i'm a good person that's crazy that is fucking crazy i'm not just a decent person that can be observed in a certain conditions all right put in a group and observed and it's like well this is very educational all right it pulls people up to decency to to where they're not babies anymore and they're not just uh, damaging society you know damaging our expectations of what people can do you know if you just if you just remain a baby that's that's annoying for society how do you how, how do you deal with a baby but uh, you pull them into decency and they in the zero ground but if you're actually good actually good actually someone ensures to fix my life that I reach this position no matter what that's amazing 
and obviously I have to ensure myself first of all and um, I'm trying to be grateful to a bunch of people too so hopefully that works out and I did have to cancel a few people in this video but uh, because my gratitude is like on a time limit almost I don't know it's it's very very strict if you can perform very well I will ensure that my tools you know improve my improvement like th this is great now I have something to do now my life is richer because uh, I I decided to do something in my life and now my identity is richer I can talk about some things I have consumed things a lot easier, you know. It's almost like uh, I'm not exactly fat, but I eat a lot when I have to. You know, like I, I can be a speedrun competition of eating stuff, of digesting material, of understanding things faster than other people. Because I put myself on this track of working but not really working its passion, the track of passion. So I'm, I'm grasping for being a good person, a person that doesn't spend too much of whatever is out there as a resource, because uh, uh, it could be fragile. It could be self-scamming resource of any kind. You never know. You can only invest into yourself to fully understand, but, people can still invest into you and ask whether you have something that has to be invested and honestly I made a kind of a big mistake I should have spent those $30 uh, buying myself a router uh, I'm actually having a lot of trouble without a router right now and uh, and I also needed some headphones or just plug in some speakers into my ears of any kind so um, I'll, I'll buy both of them apparently it will take 10 days to arrive though or 15 days which is astronomical fucking amounts considering that our country is kind of small obviously still like why I, I don't see that nothing obvious here Especially when the website itself says three to five days to arrive, and then it, the message says ten to fifteen days. Work days too, so you technically talking about two three weeks until I get a new router. But I, I don't mind it. I understand the. I had a problem like that. You know. Because I was insecure in spending money, I didn't, I froze myself from buying a router. And that's pretty bad. I froze myself also from asking my dad for money, which he, I don't think he deserves too much. You know, he deserves to be happy. He, doesn't deserve to smoke and drink in into happiness whatever that happiness leads to you know how do you get here <laughs> it's quite a lot of processing but uh, I don't know I don't know how he handles handles life so I can't you know communicate I, I'm frozen and he values money so much that I can't ask for money he's not gonna be reasonable about it all right so uh, I'm I'm missing all these things, all these things that could be fixed in my life, and obviously, these are expensive things that a smart person like myself is trying to figure out and fix myself, and then help fix others, and that sort of deal is not happening. Uh, and the government is still trying to help you. That's the decision you have to make in your life. Make the ultimate decision. Are you ready to be fixed? Do you think this industry has grown already to reach you and help you out? This is where all the conspiracy people also go because they, they feel they can get fixed. You don't 
feel like they need to delay anything anymore. They don't think they have to wait anymore. But the, you also have to improve your smartness level, okay? You have to be smart to go this direction because you will eventually be pulled by conspiracy uh, exploits, all right? Conspiracy theory exploit, where someone is gonna sell you some quick, quick fix. There's no quick fix. You know, this is where the drug zone is, I would say. If you're stupid, you're gonna get drugged or scammed or whatever. Uh, you have to simply treat money as like super incredibly valuable thing so you can't spend it too fast. That's one thing you can definitely freeze because uh, it's a fuel. It's a fuel to move forward, but if you can move forward on your own, you don't need money. And so you, you move forward to get that actual fix in your life, actual improvement and something we all should be talking about and exchanging ways to improve our lives. But here on the other side, you know, you can ask for government, you can vote, but all it's gonna, get, gonna do is regulate everything and freeze, slow things down because you're too dumb to do it yourself so uh, you want a rain of winds and snows is what you're asking for how, how does that make sense right why would people think it's a good idea to freeze things well uh all the government says is like we're gonna take care of it we're gonna do it for you they can do it for you obviously no one can fucking do things for you but you can send to give away that, you know, ability to, well, you just, you just lend your heart, basically. I don't know. You lend your heart. It's like, well, uh, you, you lend your heart to the hopes and dreams, right? So you, you must be frozen at this point because you have a lot of hopes and dreams and uh, you have to reclaim your heart pretty much. That's kind of the, the solution. It's there's never like a direct story that can, you know, unless it hits me, there's nothing I can tell you but abstract baths at this point. And you have to understand them. Obviously, there's also political terror, I would say, that you can go into as well and get sucked in into a wrong territory. And there's uh, always four solutions it depends what you need sometimes you will lean naturally but sometimes you'll be wishing for a little bit too much for nature to take place because nature always helps uh, a person that's easy to move around a small little piece can be sucked into nature but when you have a lot of control over your life that's uh that's when shit gets way harder, <laughs> exponentially harder for you. All right, nature is, is you know, you, someone paved the way, if someone said, you know, you just finish school and get a job. That's kind of nature, but I'm, I'm not dealing with nature anymore. I'm a little bit of a bigger piece in this story. Anyways, that's um, all for today. Of whatever today is it took me two days I guess to finish this little rant I think it's successful and I bid you guys farewell my name is Antwenum shut the fuck up Antwenum <laughs>